Hey, it's Jabo. Welcome to Rigzar. My organization skills are not super, or is it is not super. My grammar are not good or super. So I'm going to be going through a couple of random... Uh, these are the... What do they call these? The shoebox size <laughs> containers uh, that were randomly purchased at different places like Target and Walmart whenever they were less than a dollar. I got all kinds with different lids. <laughs> Sometimes they're seasonal. You can get them at a discount. But uh, one thing they end up being is a catch-all. So we're going to see what mystery things are in here. Uh, perhaps they're things from hauls. <laughs> Uh, and I've got to figure out how to sort all this so that I don't keep doing the same thing where I get stuff, use it for a second, or don't even use it at all, and just throw it in a container and then don't remember where it is. Uh, so we're going to look at that. And as a public service uh, announcement for uh, you people that live in the United States in particular, if you're at a red light and it has the induction sensors that trigger the light, uh, if you don't know what those are, I don't even know if that's the proper term, but it's like a field that's made from, there's, uh, do I have a car in here? Let's see if one of these happens to have a car. I got a train. Pretend like this is your car. And pretend like this is the white balk line. Uh, you got to come up there. There will be, in the road, something that looks like lines. Those are like wires or something. And the way that works is when your car pulls up in that, that is a big hunk of metal that triggers <laughs> an induction into the, uh, essentially you're the inside of an electromagnet and it makes the light turn. But if you stop way back here uh, before, it, the light will never change. So I sat behind two idiots. One was part like this far back. The other guy was even further behind him. And then I'm behind him. And I'm like, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. They won't, they, they sat there through two complete cycles of a rather long light, not wanting to inch up. And finally, I drove my car around. I'll be the brick separator. Here comes Briggsar in his AT&T van. I pulled in front of the guy. <laughs> Mind you, this is a very busy road. The light turned red. It, it, it will turn red for everybody going this way. <laughs> and then right when it was about to turn, I knew I was going to get the green light because I go here all the time. I knew I was going to get the green light. Right before it turned green, this guy decided to do an illegal U-turn. <laughs> and then the light turns green and I was able to make my left hand turn. <laughs> but it's like, well, he didn't decide to move until I got in front of him. Uh, wait, that's not what this video is about. So it's a perfect public service announcement. Get inside the field, so the light will change. Oh, what is wrong with people? All right, so that's, so we had a, a jumbo brick. I can put that with the jumbo bricks. We got a train base. I used to have a box that was full of these train bases. I need to find that. We have this boy here. Uh, it's a Duplo boy. We have a printed piece. I have no idea what set that is. Anybody know what set that's from? Two gray pieces of train track. I think one looks like it's old gray. One looks like it's uh, light bluish gray here. Yeah. We have a Saturn Apollo lunar lander patch. We got, oh, one of the greatest printed pieces ever from the classic space theme, LL2079. Is that supposed to be like the year 2079? Because I know it's not the set. So we got that piece. We have, oh my goodness. We have a Thomas the Tank Engine special promotional DVD. Uh, what is that doing in there? Oh, there's the, the light switch thingy. We got that piece. Oh, Mayo! Look at this. This is something Mayo Hosco sent, I think. Yeah, Mayo. Uh, it's a trans 2x4. Oh, is it cracked? It is cracked. <laughs> and the rare 2x4 red brick. So this is from Mayo Hosco. I need to set that in a different place. This goes to Galador. We have Train Lab. They sent me something a while back. There's a magnet. Um, those random pieces. 
This goes to, this came in one of the Lego factory sets. This is probably pretty rare. I need to put this in my rare publications binder. Some supports, pamphlet, and a Ninjago movie thing. I think it's probably with the minifigures. Oh, I can use that for the Tipper Truck Army. I'll put it over there. And what is this for? It's for, oh, that's for the DCC locomotive. All right, we got the thing emptied out now. That was, that was in that container. Completely random parts. Uh, oops. And a stud. So Mayo's thing, I need to find a safe place for that. All right, let's go to this other one, this other container. Do you like Brickzar's public safe service announcements? We got this Duplo poly bag. So I got a container somewhere where I'm going to be putting poly bags. So I'm going to take all these poly bags here and put them in the poly bag container. Oh, check it out. Creepy Belleville. <laughs> uh, we got, ooh, a mag. Oh, it's a pencil. I thought it was a magnet. It's a pencil sharpener. Can't read. Brickzar can't read. Another Duplo poly bag. Another city poly bag. Now this is from the Duplo race set. It came with this uh, translucent green track, and these were the launch things. And I think I got this. I was like, oh, I might piece that set together. <laughs> so they're like launchers. Let's see. Oh, this is what I needed when I was at the red light. Let's do this. Reenact how this should have gone. There's the car. Brickzar pulls up behind. All right. Hey, you need to go. Anyway, that would have worked perfect. Let's try that again. Hey, you're too far back. Do, 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 do. Boop. Oh, wait. Didn't work right. That's good. Move on up. See? That would have worked just, just fine. All right. What else is in this thing? Oh, brick separators. Oh, never, never can have enough of those. Man, a whole bunch of brick separators. Ah, I have a place for these. These are the, the antecedent. This is the way they normally look. One, one prong broken. <laughs> we got, oh, that's a pretty good looking space torso. Look how clean that is. Need to set that aside. Oh, don't put your finger on it. We got this guy, which did they might be bricks use this for his, uh, one of his torsos. Oh, a pin. I can never find it. This is why I can never find pins. It's in here. It's where I took a keychain apart. <laughs> Well, that is a cool, look at that. That is like, oh, it's a sticker. It looked like it was metallic. So what set is that from? Uh, here's the SpongeBob keychain. This needs to go in the SpongeBob container. I got little bags here in case I found anything here. I'm gonna put SpongeBob in there. So I have a container that has all the SpongeBob sets and I'm still working on finding some of the Meeson, 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 I'm starting to talk like uh, Patrick. Messing parts. Another useless pamphlet. We got a spaceman. Is that the new version? Let's see. Yeah, that's the new one. The white spaceman. Let's try to see if that was a. Yeah, that's a good one. We got a bag <laughs> with a set in it. Uh oh. I think I was trying to collect different translucent colors for a color chart. Never put those anywhere. We got a an Allen wrench. Had that since I was a teenager. Another spaceman. He's a little faded. Is it a modern one? I think it's modern. Fairly modern. Uh, what's this? Oh, space torso there. Another keychain. I mean, this must be where I dismembered some keychains. There's space. Oh, the red spaceman's head. Don't have his air tanks, apparently. It's a classic food. They might be bricks. Must be. Look how nasty those bricks are. Now, uh, there's the air tank for the red one. We got a croissant, <laughs> a chair, <laughs> another sticker. I have a, a box for sticker pieces. I think I want to put these sticker pieces in that. There's a tire. Another pamphlet. Oh, let's see. If, oh, look. Dark red. Will it break? It's pretty good. Didn't break. Bright green. That goes to a garbage truck. Cash register piece. So I got all these printed pieces in here. I'm going to put in the printed piece drawer. Looks like a monorail 
printed piece there. We got a fish. No smoking. Yeah, a lot of little printed pieces. I'm just gonna dump the rest of these out here because it looks like these are mostly printed. Ah, I'm always looking for these when I'm doing some vintage builds. And then there, yeah, so yeah, printed pieces. So I'm gonna take all these printed pieces, put in the printed pieces container. And I'm gonna put these with the Duplo stuff. I need to find my train bin. I got a whole box of these. Whew, what am I gonna do? You know what, I might just throw all this stuff back in, in the container. No, I must resist, I must not do that. So I'll work on that. Um, definitely did not need two containers for what was here. So in summary, put that in my special uh, pamphlets container. Wait, I, I, let me show it to you again. If I, oh, don't mess it up. Oops, don't mess it up. Yeah, came with Lego factory sets. Building your way. Factory alias. Real name. <laughs> yeah. I don't know which one I got this with. Because I, I, I pieced that one together. I did have the this one sealed. I think I got that one in a box too. I can't remember. I had to go back and watch my own videos. But that's pretty neat. I probably got a video actually taking this out or wherever I got it from. Again, these go in the poly bag. SpongeBob. I don't know where I'm going to put this. And I don't know what I'm going to do with these spacemen. Need to figure something out. This is the problem. See, all such a random array of parts that need to be organized. So thanks for watching this uh, look at a couple of random boxes in my collection. And hopefully when I come back to you tomorrow, I will have these put away by then and not back in these same boxes. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I got to go now because we're about to film the A Fool podcast. We film it uh, several days in advance. And if I would have got home sooner if it hadn't been for those idiots at the red light. So, um, yeah, do better, people in cars that park way too far from the light, okay? It's like, and how, how many, it, it begs the question, if I had never pulled in front of that guy, how long were they just going to sit there? Because these lights take like two minutes, it seems like, to change. And if you're not up there and you don't get the signal, you're never going to, you can't even, even if the light's red and you want to run it, you can't because there's so much traffic. I mean, I would have, I would have, the only other thing would have been like to try to get back into the flow of traffic, which is very hard because there's so much traffic. <laughs> uh, but, it, but because I did the right thing and ran and got in front of the guy, the light changed and everybody was able to go, except for the guy that did the illegal U-turn that was the reason the light wasn't changing anyway. <sighs> Enough of the rant. I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. I'm going to wear my Spider-Man shirt. To Spider-Man. Wait, this is not Spider-Man. This is the other S. I'll see you guys. Bye. Uh oh, SpongeBob. <laughs> And that's all that's left to put away. I don't think that counts as a printed piece.